Today of my video is Star Warfare tier list with you guys. Yes, because Lieutenant invited me in the house and support. Alright, here we go. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Star Warfare tier list. And this time, it's PvP maps and boss tier list at the same time. Always remember, it's only in my opinion. So let's get this over with. The first PvP map we're gonna start with is Reactor and Golden Fall. For these two maps, they are not popular and looking like it's a playground area. This is the difference between Golden Fall and Reactor together. And look, it has um, good detail and not good detail. So it's time to separate them. For Reactor, I put it to F while Golden Fall is D. Now the next map is Microwave. This map used to be popular back then, way back at 2013, probably, or 2014. Yes, the map is really awesome, they have some new glitches, even the glitch where you go under the wall and kill some enemies there, which is fun, but pretty annoying. Even though the glitch is still not patched, but the other one was still patched because of blockings that Freya did. It's a nice small map and beautiful. Now, for the tier list for microwave map, I'll say it's C. Now the next map is Bunky Party. It's a large map and has a Christmas tree and a hiding spot, underground things. Well, about the map, yes, it has a glitch where you can go all around the whole entire map without, you know, being spotted. Well, the truth is, you can get spotted by snipers and rifles, also shooting you, which that's annoying. And also for the Christmas trees, yes, there's many glitches to it, but some of them has been patched due to Freya fixing it, and yes, it's a good map. It's only used for catch me this game, and the other rest of it is... Not much. So, for the Bunky Party in the list of the tier list, since it's a large map and has glitches, it's on C. Now the next map is Y8 Factory. The map size is normal to large, and I took some pictures in the map, and it has a balcony and two hiding spots for cover. Now for the tier list for Y8 Factory, it's on B. The reason why, because it has inner buildings to come in and then come out. Next up is the map Ancient Vision. Yes, this Ancient Vision of Nighttime has been there in a long period of time, since way back when I was quite young seeing this. In Ancient Vision, it has so many glitches. Well, one is going up and it goes trapped there, and one is going onto the top of that field. I don't know what that is, but it's really good watching and having a view of it. Also, for the daytime mode, on an ancient vision is really good and amazing and I'll show you the video which is not my video this is what it looks like in ancient vision daytime it's a really amazing it has some shadows and so many uh, people playing this yes I love it that is not my character I ever wear well that was in the olden time but I, didn't, I was like back then week so I love that map a lot these days and it should come back now for the tier list, first is the nighttime of Ancient Vision, I'll put it on C, and daytime Ancient Vision on A. Now the next map is Air Crash. The map is small and really good to see around, and it's really good also in PvP, because some players place this map for favorite, and only one hiding spot which is close to the edge near that where we all stand and there's some hiding spot which is not much and another thing is the building inside full of boxes and entrance which is not much and undergrounding is a rectangle tunnel so for air crash the map is okay i love the map since me and my friends play this map back then i give the map now for the next map is our favorite and it's garage the map you see in the gameplays of multiplayer is common to find garage. Mostly it's free for all because we all like to hang out, be friends, do 1v1 and do some glitches which I like a lot. Mostly I like glitches the most. For everyone saying that yes garage is amazing, yes I do like to pick garage because it's been my favorite um, yes map for like a long time since I started playing this game and I believe it's one of the best matches for everyone to play because there's so many friendly people out there that wants to hang out and have fun now for the tier list grating for Garage okay it's on S which means the best map of all time and now the last map is Kill House the map is amazing it has so much camping spots lots of balcony hittings and shootings and a lot of people hiding while ambushing which is really fun 
that I like. Also shooting war is the funnest thing what we all do and all players have done. I like playing kills because players are killing everyone, which is a good news. Now for kill house in the grading of the tier list, it's on A. Now all the maps are now in the list of the tier list only in my opinion. So yes, that's it. Now time for the boss tier list. All right, let's get this started. The first boss we got is Wrath of Mantis. Wrath of Mantis is an easy boss with only just having only a pro player and some noobs to do this. However, it's very difficult when a noob's here but doesn't know how to play the game. Which, it's like a viper or something like a little bit stronger and yes, you die. If it was your first time playing this game in Star Warfare. For the Wrath of Armor in the grading tier list, it's on, I gotta say this, F. Now the next boss, or the second boss today, is Poison Pit. For the Poison Pit, the most annoying thing is how he spits poison. It's really annoying, but unless you have four of a backpack, then you're safe. But however, the jumping is really annoying and the sprinting is annoying, because Poison Pit is pretty fast, even if you're a slow armor, which that's gonna be a hurt thingy, where pain comes at you. Now for Poison Pit in the grading tier list, it's on D. It's a normal boss to kill, which is the most recent, that's why I pe Now an interesting boss is Siege Fried. For the Siege Fried boss, which it flies and lands, and also it uses a surprise attack which, which throw those red appearance. It's really annoying. And the flying when you focus on the enemy, how else, but it focus on the actual you that's standing there being slow and you get caught by the Siege Fried's unicorn horns, which is annoying. And that goes to shooting fireballs at you, which that takes up so much damage, oh my god. I don't know how much is it, it's crazy. Now the Siege Fright in the tier list, it's on A. Because of the health and the damage is crazy. Also it's fast. Now the next boss is Double Rage. About the Double Rage, like Rathamantis, it's like two Rathamantis, which is green, and another new one with purple, because it just makes the difficult double or triple the amount of it or it doesn't matter because the green is normally strong while the purple one is weaker because due to that we use damage clips or without damage clip. Another annoying part is when one Rathamantis die the one other Rathamantis gets a shield which is nearly probably a lot of health doesn't matter because shield gives them extra and I do not like it. The best way to kill the double rage is you have to kill them at the same time, the right timing. Now for the grading for the double rage, it's on B, because they're both weak. Now the next boss is my favorite boss of all time, Serpent. Serpent is a pretty hard boss, even though if you're weak and you have a weak minigun. But the best way to kill it, if you have a golden minigun, then yes, you're good. But Halloween MZ, it's faster. For the Serpent, it spits out purple poison, which makes us slower if you're not in a hover mode. And that's really common to all of us, even for strong armor. The next one is the underground ambush, which is not bad, but you have to watch out for that dust thing, because that can take away most of your health points and knockbacks you. The one last annoying part is the port, because Serpents can teleport somewhere like a random area and then you get killed, which is over 10k health points lost because of the Serpent knockback to you, and yes, it's crazy. The best way to counter that is you have to find the portal that appears, and that's where the Serpent is coming on that lane. And now for the tier list of my grading for my favorite boss Serpent, it's on A. Now the last boss is Xmas Surprise. Now, Xmas Surprise is one of the last boss for like for a long period of time, which no bosses can be made because Freya has probably run out of ideas. Well, if Freya had good ideas, then there'll be new bosses out there like Xmas Surprise, or even lower or higher. For the Xmas Tree Surprise, it shoots laser only for you twice, which is over 10k of health point loss, and dangerously rockets everywhere when it shoots and follows you, which is pretty annoying. Even lots of players like starters failed on that, which is kind of an upsetting moment. If you're close to the XMS stomp, then it will lose you about like over 9,000 or 10,000 of the health point loss. 
The most annoying thing about Xmas Surprise is the clown spinning. It's fast, however, we have to stay away from those because that can lose you quite an amount of health loss. The biggest counter for Xmas Surprise is the tree that we all use to be safe so that the any types of players who is weak or strong or average stays alive. Alright, for the last boss for Xmas Surprise, it's on S. Now all the bosses in the tier list are now complete, only in my opinion. So, that's it.